Welcome to Back to the Sims. This is Jess, and we have had some exciting things happen with Charlie and Mick. I am so excited to share them with you. So the first thing that happened after we left them was that Charlie had an idea that she should probably go and visit a veterinary clinic to decide if that's really what she wants to do. Because it's a big investment, it's a big change of lifestyle, and so she decided to head on over to the local current veterinary clinic because she thought that way she could maybe talk with a couple of people and just see what was going on. And you may have noticed she does have a couple more dollars. She ended up having to sell some furniture because being an introduction writer, it's not making a whole lot of money. So she met this really nice vet tech and they kind of talked a little bit. She kept trying to ask her more about animals and this tech was really just more interested in food. So she kind of got the idea pretty quick that Lori was probably more interested in maybe eating or hanging out and doing other stuff than actually working at the veterinary clinic. So right then and there she knew a different kind of person that she needed to hire in her clinic once she gets it up and running. So she paced around and they let her just sort of have a little bit of run of the place to kind of just, you know, get comfortable with it, see if there's anything exciting that she was interested in. And Charlie got the idea to maybe walk up and talk to a customer and then she's like, no, I better not do that. So she went and bought Mick a couple of things from their little vending machine, one of which was a aged down treat. So, you know, she's read all the stuff on Simstagram and thought, you know what, I probably I'll try it you know it's worth a try they keep advertising it on my account so why not looks like it's reputable it's here at the vet clinic so she went ahead and purchased them a few minutes later an extremely nice simoleon came in and they started talking and she ended up making a couple of, she was telling she made a couple bucks from her children's stories, but that she was running a little short with money. And Charlie uh, decided that she would talk to this really nice gentleman for a few minutes, and he suggested that she contacted Nicole. So um, Milan decided that it would be a good idea for Charlie to go ahead and contact his friend Nicole because she is very wealthy and likes to invest in startup businesses and she doesn't really like to work a whole lot but she has a lot of money to invest so he suggested that she maybe give her a call so Charlie kind of took a few minutes maybe had some coffee um, enjoyed just kind of the ambiance of where she was hoping to either work in the future or build her own version and she kind of took in everything that Milan had said and thought, you know what? I'm going to give Nicole a call. What's the worst that happens, right? Right? She gets a, a loan. So she went over and told him, you know, thank you so much for, you know, suggesting I give her a call. What's the worst that happens, right? And he was super nice to her, encouraged her, thought it was a, a great idea, and that she just had such a promising kind of future and... So she thanked him and got herself all ready to go and see Nancy. She went ahead and changed outfits and drove across to the other town to this extremely intimidating house. And there was no one outside to greet her. So she just sort of knocked on the door, thought, okay, well, I'll just try. You know, what's the worst that happens, right? Again, let's get this loan. Because selling books making $7 worth of commission is just not going to cut it. Her dog and her eat more than that at breakfast. So it was time. It was time to try and take that next step. And after spending a couple hours at the veterinary clinic, she knew. She's done. She's, this is it. This is the future. So she knocked on the door and they and Nancy just said come on in and didn't really tell her where to go or greet her so she kind of wandered around the house a little bit trying to find her and when she 
yelled, come on over again, she realized that she must have been off in this computer room. Now the crazy part was that Nancy didn't really even have time, I think, to talk to her because she didn't even get up to shake hands, to greet her, so she was really in it to go in, make some money, do whatever she's got to do, and she was probably working on other business deals while they were standing there talking. So, of course, Charlie was, hey guys, I'm, I love dogs, I love cats, and what I'm really thinking about doing is I'd really like to start a veterinary clinic of my own. There's a city that doesn't have one. I went and spent the day and researched it, and yeah, so what do you think? And Nancy kind of just did some numbers quick and was like, well, there better not be bugs, yuck. She's like, no, no, no bugs, no bugs. Look, happy face. This is good. All right, well, I suppose. She didn't really seem all that enthusiastic about Charlie's idea, but I guess when it's your own business, why would you be? You know, it's your passion, your love. And this investor is just thinking money. So she went ahead and continued to kind of give her spiel about her clinic. And Nancy agreed, fine, 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 that's fine. And they agreed to the different terms. Obviously, Charlie is extremely excited because this means that she's taken a huge step. I mean, this is a lot of debt that she's going to have to pay her back. And you know what? If you don't take a chance, you never know. You never know. She said, fine, fine, I get it. You like cats, you like dogs, stop. Nancy's like, I'll give you the money. If you watch, Charlie went a little too far beyond. She probably should have said goodbye a little sooner and let her get back to her computer. You can see Nancy was kind of like, oh my gosh. So Charlie came running out of the house super excited because, oh my goodness, her dreams are getting ready to come true or not. Maybe she's going to go into a lot of debt. We'll have to wait and see. So that night she went home, passed out in her bed, in her outfit that she interviewed, and pitched her idea to Nancy in. The next morning she got up, made some breakfast, spent a little time with Mick, because obviously the whole reason she's doing this is for her and Mick. After a little bit of Mick time, she decided to go ahead and decide, was it time to purchase that veterinary clinic? I think so. So let's go ahead and take a look at what was available. Her dreams are starting to come true. <laughs> so she decided to look in Newcrest because Newcrest is a new area. There's not a lot of other developments. But it's absolutely beautiful. There's some beautiful parks, places for people to take their pets after they leave her clinic. And the prices aren't horrible yet. They're still pretty decent. So she decided on Tranquil Crescent, which is a nice area with a pond behind it, to go ahead and build her location. I think this screenshot, let me just transfer the money because obviously Nancy gave her the money for a reason. She doesn't want to have it in for personal. But the idea that Charlie had was to go ahead and build a half clinic, half home. So she can actually move out of her house, sell that house because she doesn't need to be going back and forth. She wants to actually live on the premises of her veterinary clinic. So the plan is to try and build a vet's office off on the right hand side and then her home off on the left hand side. Not sure if it's going to work because obviously she doesn't want to invite everybody into her home. So we're going to have to play around with that and see if we can lock doors to only, you know, family members. But I don't know if that'll do it for everybody. So we'll take a look and see. So let's go ahead and get started building her veterinary clinic slash home. The idea that she had was to build it in sort of a u-shaped so that there's a lot of grass in the middle um, the idea and obviously this home even when we're done with this build won't even be complete but she wanted to go ahead and design it so that there would be the veterinary clinic area and then a whole bunch of rooms where she could check the animals out an emergency area around the back side and then her home is the other half of the u 
so that she could live there, take naps, showers, relax, and never have to go very far from where her business was. Um, being a small business owner, it's so hard. You want to keep track of your business, make sure everything everybody's doing what they're expected to be doing. And so we're going to try it out and see if it works. Um, she wanted to keep it pretty simple, but she did want to have an area out front where obviously Mick could go and play with other dogs, where other dogs could show up and do whatever they got to do. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to add in a little porch, nice little covered window porch too. We're going to add lots of windows to this. I want it to be really open because look at that road. Look at that road that she chose to build on. It is so beautiful. I mean, there's a well-established tree and park over there. It looks like with some pink flowering trees, some beautiful old historical buildings. It looks like so this looks like a really nice part of town. I mean, even look at the uh, middle of the road there. There's some pretty flowers and stuff, too. I mean, this is this is going to be pretty gorgeous. I'm really excited. And we're going to do some other architecture features once we have a little bit more money. I have a feeling by the time we build all of this, we're not going to have a ton of money left. But I want to put in a lot of natural light because, again, this location is gorgeous. Beautiful parks, beautiful trees. Why not take advantage of that? I think people will really, especially having pets and stuff, it'll be a nice nature -y kind of feel. So let's just add a ton of these floor to ceiling windows. And we're not going to do quite as many of those in her home, obviously, for privacy reasons, um, or facing the veterinary clinic, because that further to the left area is going to be her home. So we're not going to do another ton of those. And we're not going to put a door from the clinic into her home, because we don't want that. I started with those little windows. And then you'll see when I go back in, I actually go in and put in um, larger windows because I just felt like it was so dark in those rooms and it just didn't have the same feel so I wanted something bright and airy and we're just gonna open those up so that there's no closing those doors there we go get some doors a little bathroom because obviously we have to have a bathroom So then we have to go ahead and make sure that we add in some stuff for Charlie and Mick. And you can see I did put in a couple of the big windows because it is beautiful sunlight. And I realized that I can't stop the building process until we actually finish the veterinary clinic. So let's go ahead and put in those animal check tables where they can check them out, make sure they're doing good. What else is required here? Yeah, we're going to put in bigger windows. In the bathroom, though, I still kept smaller windows because of privacy. All right, we need to check in. Let's put that on the diagonal because that's fun. You'll see that. I'm going to put a super industrial garbage can. Bunch outside because who knows how much we're going to throw away. 
Um, let's put in, um, there we go, a couple more vet pieces of vending machine. There we go. And then I think we'll just put in a nice high power toilet just because it's going to potentially, right now we've only got one bathroom, so might have to fix that. We'll put a sink in there. And again, I'm just building this up really quick. And we're not going to finish everything in this video um, because I don't want to spend all her money. Um, I want to make it nice, high quality, and I want to be able to hire some employees, but I don't want to go in and waste all of the money that we got from Nancy quite yet. I want to make sure that we start actually taking a customer before we go too crazy. So we're going to go ahead and put in some plants, put in some, I just thought some nice little circle ottomans would be nice. I know that sometimes like when I've been in the vet office, I don't want to have big chairs that I have to feel conformed to. So I think those nice rounded chairs will be kind of perfect. Really like those little blue chairs in the waiting room. Those are really cute. And I want to put up some signage, but I put too many windows. So um, lights, important, extremely important. I thought let's just use this same series. It might look like we went to like the store and just got a discount on a whole bunch, but that's all right. That's fine. We just need light. So let's get that going. Just about done. All right, so we still have a lot of work to do. You can see Charlie still has her bedroom to paint, to decorate, so we've got lots to do. We're not moving the family in quite yet, although she does need to take a really quick nap so that she can go ahead and open up the Tranquil Crescent uh, Veterinary Clinic for at least a little bit of time. So let me just fast forward, get her a little sleep. And then I think we are going to go ahead and before we end today's video, I want to go ahead and at least get one customer in so we can have some satisfaction of, you know, she went to go look and find out, was this for her? She met an amazing person who hooked her up with an angel investor named Nancy who said, you know what, I'm willing to put the money in to, you know, work with you. She went ahead, bought a piece of land, and now again, we've got a lot left to do. We don't have rugs down. We haven't done any toys outside. We don't even have a path to our thing. So, I mean, people have to walk across the grass, but it's one of those that, you know, we just want to get a customer in and let's get this dream going. Got a long way to go, but to get the dream going, let me go ahead and she's going to Charlie change into her scrubs. Oh, there she is. We're going to feed the dog bowls in case people want this. Now, we went ahead and decided that it'd be fun to um, open it up at night, just 10 o'clock at night, you know, just to see if there's anybody who needs an emergency vet. And we already got a customer. So here is our first customer. So exciting. There she is. Uh -huh. We're talking about coffee, which is the only thing we didn't buy. But she went ahead and wanted to tell her she loves cats. Obviously, she's got a cat. So she wants to, I love cats. Although Charlie really does. She loves all animals. Um, so she went ahead to treat the patient. And then we're going to turn that off so that we only get the one customer because it's pretty late. And, you know, we want to spend a little more time building this out. But I thought it'd be fun to at least get her one patient so we can see her dream kind of in reality. And that cute little cat's going to step up on the thing. And let's go ahead and see what's going on. Looks like he's got some ticks and fleas. That's a pretty easy one, so we're just going to inspect that fur, and I think she's going to be able to solve this one pretty quick.
And the cat was extremely scared, so I don't know what was going on, but Charlie went ahead and comforted her in her Charlie fashion and told the cat that it was going to be just fine. I'm just going to spray you, and trust me, these little bugs that are flying all over the place are going to go away. I promise you. Okay? All right. And the lady seemed extremely happy that Charlie was so caring and willing to take the time. She was so excited, gave her a huge thumbs up that she already had, you know, solved the cat's problems. And they went ahead and even did a hip bump. Watch this. This one. Woo! Yeah, we did it. And then she went ahead, called the pet a good pet, that she was a good girl, and built her first client and sent her on her way. So how exciting is that? Like, Charlie said this is what she wanted. She went in met somebody now truly that was luck of the draw that that guy even knew nancy but still kind of fun that she was able look at that she's strutting like yeah i got my first client so we're gonna go ahead and close the doors for the day look at that her first clinic so exciting all right go ahead close the doors and let's see we already made some money we got a review good value of service they liked our ambience she did have a little bit of stress though let's go ahead and close that out with that being said charlie was extremely exhausted and decided it was time to read a book just to kind of relax let things go So that's where we'll end it for today. She's just going to go ahead and relax in her store. And if you like what we're doing and you want to see more about what happens with Charlie and Mick, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And we are going to be offering a whole bunch of uh, downloads over in the community. Hashtag back to the Sims. 